Hi. You okay? Don't breathe so loud with the mic. Sorry. It's okay. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Pretty good. How old are you? 12. Yep. You're 12? Yes, I am. <laughs> How'd you find this uh, this YouTube stream? Um, on YouTube. Just scrolling? It just popped up? Um, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Okay. Um, did you have a question for me or? Um, I'm Muslim. So like, I'm just like, you know, like, also, sorry for it. Cause like I had some troubles with like my mic and like stuff and like, yeah. Sorry. Good. Oh, that was earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> so you, 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 you ready to get into this, man? You know, yeah. I, I, I don't discriminate, man. Jesus was 12 years old when he was in the temple teaching people. So yeah, he was, he was like, he, he like, he used to debate Jews and like, he won every like thing. Exactly. Mm. exactly. At the 12, at 12 years old. You think you got it like that? Yeah. yeah. That's what, that's what I do. I, I sometimes do. And like, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah. What's the question? Okay. So the question is, well, let, let's, let's solidify this together. We believe that God is all powerful, of course, right? Yes, yes, I, I agree. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So, if there is something that God can't do, or if He needed help doing, it would mean that He's not all powerful, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. All right. So, look, for some reason, it's going to be easier talking to Bashir than talking to some of the adults. Man, you see how easy He answers these questions? Goodness gracious! Why can't the adults do this? All right. Do you believe that Allah can have a son if he wanted to? Well, that's a good question because in the Quran, um, Surah Ikhlas, it says, Allahu ahad, say Allah is, wait, wait one sec. So yeah, in Surah Ikhlas, it says that God has no no, uh, no sons and no daughters. So like that's that's kind of a, con that's a contradiction because like in the Quran, it says that God has no sons and daughters. And like, yeah, mm. you get me? Cause, like, Where are you from? I was born in Liverpool, the UK, but my mom and dad are from Iraq. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. You got a nice accent. Okay. So, so Allah doesn't <laughs> have sons. Yeah. He has no sons or daughters, right? Uh, he doesn't have children. It's not a thing that he does. Yeah. My question is, could he, though, if he wanted to? Um, could he if he wanted Oh, that's a good question. Could he if he wanted to? Um. Well, in the Quran, it says that he doesn't, so no. It says that he doesn't have have children. Yeah. Does, it say, he, does yeah. it say that he can't have children? Um, No. Right. It doesn't, uh. So that's the question. Could he if he wanted to? He's um, all-powerful. He's God. Mm -hmm. Could he if he wanted to? Uh, I mean, yeah. He would have to or else he's not God, right? Yeah. He would have to be able to he would have to be able to do this mm -hmm. or else he's not God because he wouldn't be all powerful. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So we'll rest on this that Allah, if he wanted to, he could have a son. Now, let me help you out too. Your Quran actually does say this. In chapter 39, verse 4, it says, if Allah willed he to have a son, he could have chosen one from any of his creation. Well, so does that. Is it uh, the chapter 39? Let me see if I get the sort of name. Is it like uh oh, okay. I'll get the name for you? Mm. It's uh Zuma, Zumar, Az Zumar. Zumar. I'll put it on the screen right here so we can see it. It's right here. Oh, hold on. Right here. Az Zumar. You see it on the screen? Yeah, yeah, I see it. So it says, if Allah had will to choose a son, he could have chosen what he would have that which he has created. Um, be he glorified, he is Allah, the one, the absolute. So if he wanted to, he could have had a son. Yeah. He could. He could. Now, now, here's my next question, okay? Could Allah have a son by himself? Or would he need help to have a son? Um, Like, you've been, like, saying that, like, he, wait. So you've been saying that, like, God, Allah needs like help from like he needs like a mate or like a yeah, wife to like so wait can you give me that uh, can you show me the the, the verse where it, like it says like yeah. he's a thing yeah. 
Wait, is it a, is it a hadith? Oh, it's in the Quran, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, Let's see. Six one on one. So it says, the originator of the heavens and the earth, mm-hmm. how can he have a child when there is for him no consort, meaning wife or girlfriend, mm-hmm. companion, when he created all things and is aware of all things? Wait, can I just read it for a second? Yeah. Yep. Take your time. The originator of the heavens and the earth, how can he have a child? How can he have a child when there is for him no consort when he created all wait so you know the uh the verse where it says when there is for him no consort is that like referring to him he needs like a wife to like or like he needs a correct to... okay correct exactly wait a so con- like yeah oh sorry sorry yeah. it's okay no yeah yeah a, con- a consort is a <clears throat> is it like a wife or a companion a okay. mate mm-hmm. Wait, so I have a question. So you know how you believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is God? I mean, not, I mean, the son of God. And like, yeah, like, how, how was like, how, how, like, 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 how is he like? How like, is that How is that possible? Yeah, how is he the son of God? Like, what, yeah. what is it like? Is it like a physical sense or is it like out of it's endearment? A, it's, a, it's a spirit. It's not a physical sense. Okay. And it's not simply a term of endearment. Like, it's not metaphorical. Mm-hmm. He really is the son of God uh, in, a, in a very realistic way spiritual way and a spiritual reality mm-hmm. so the father mm-hmm. begets the son meaning the son comes from the father the very essence of the father mm-hmm. so almost as almost like um almost like how a son the son like out of the sun comes light it brings forth light mm-hmm. consistently that's the same way with the father in his within his, his essence brings forth the son eternally so that's that's why he's the begotten son of the father, eternally begotten, not made. All right. So it's not a physical. Oh, he had to have uh, the father had to needed a mate, and then boom, here's Jesus, or anything sexual with Mary, nothing like that. He is eternally begotten of the father. He bring he's coming forth from the father's essence. Or so what's the question? Um, yeah. So yeah, so the question was with the verse, <clears throat> it says, how can Allah have a son when he has no no consort, no wife, right? Um, so that shows that he, what what's, so according to that verse, it shows that Allah would need a wife in order to have a son, right? Uh, if you want, I could put the verse back up, hold on. Oh, that's a hard one. I know. <sighs> don't don't feel bad though, because even smart, intelligent, grown adults struggle with this question. They can't answer it because there is no answer. Do you do you reckon that Sheikh Uthman would answer this question and like you'll get it right? I would love to ask Uthman this question if I ever get a chance to see him again. He never comes to the park. But I'll definitely ask him this question for sure. But he wouldn't be able to. He'll he, he'll he'll sound exactly like how everybody else sounded on this panel. He wouldn't be no different. <laughs> how can he have a child when? So if he needs a wife to have a child, mm-hmm. that means that Allah is dependent on something else outside of Himself. Wait, so, I have a, oh, so sorry, yes. Oh. So that would mean that He's not all powerful. Wait, so. You know the you know the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Is the Son is 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 the Son is God de- dependent on the Son? There's a what is it's it's called an interdependency. So, like for example, um, the Father is the Father because of the Son. You can't be a father without the <laughs> Son, right? So there's that there, and then the Son is brought forth from the father's essence. So there's that. There's an interdependency there. Now, but here's the difference. The difference is that they are of the same essence, the same being. So they're not depending on something outside of their own essence to exist or do something or be something, right? Because they're multi-personal. They're, it's the Trinity. So it's interdependency. 
They're not depending on something outside of their divine nature to be or do something. Here, Allah, he's not a trinity. And obviously, this mate is not part of his own essence either. So for Allah, he is dependent on something outside of his own self, outside of mm -hmm. his nature. But the father and son, they have the same being. Allah, he's only, you know, he has his being to himself, the only one person. And he would need something outside of him, himself, outside of his nature, a mate, in order to have a son. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. So, so, so this, this would mean that Allah is not all powerful and therefore is not God. Wait, so is, oh, sorry, is Jesus God? If, if Jesus is God and God knows everything, then why did Jesus not know the hour? <laughs> Classic Uthman. Um. <laughs> 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 you know, you know what we call what you just did? What? We call it the Muslim shuffle. It's when it's it's immediately like when the Muslim is like stuck and they can't answer a question, they shift to, to change the subject, you know, question the deity of Christ. If Jesus is God, why do you know the hour? If Jesus is God, you know, why do you say the Father's greater? You know, they change the subject. It's called mm -hmm. the Muslim shuffle, bro. That's so funny. <laughs> and yes, you're right. Classic Uthman. Yes. <laughs> oh my god oh man i'm so happy i stayed on i was gonna close out but i'm glad i waited for you uh, but do, do, you, do you see the problem here i would like the the thing majiki like the uh so he you see the problem Oh, about the the God needs a wife to God needs. Oh, okay, so yeah, you see that problem. You see that the problem it, it brings. Mm -hmm. So, God is the creator of everything. Yes. So. <laughs> so. God. Oh. It's okay to not have an answer, bro. You don't have to force it. It's okay to say, you know what? I don't have an answer to this. It's okay, okay if I go on Google and like type the like it, it look, and look for an answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah go wait, ahead. So what? So uh, wait, what's the question? Is it? Um, just just ask. Put, put just ask. What is the meaning of Surah six one one? What? It, wait. What Surah? Surah six. Surah. One hundred and one. Verse one hundred and one. Surah six. Verse 101. Let's see what it says. Guys, make sure you guys are hitting the like button, man. There better be well over 2,400 likes. So you want to look over that stuff real quick? I'll, I can bring up someone else in the meantime. Uh, actually, I'm going to think of my own. Okay, so okay. God is the creator of everything. Yeah. So so God is all-powerful, all-knowing. Supposed to be. So God, so God needs a partner to make Each. a son because it's not normal for God to have a son. According to Islam, if like, God is all powerful and independent, then he doesn't need a partner for anything. He doesn't need anything outside of himself to do anything. Because because uh, the reason why God needs a partner is because it's in Islam. It's like it, it's like it's absolutely like it's not normal for God to have like uh, a son because like. No worries. Like, uh, but even if, even if he wanted to, if even if he wanted one, even if he wanted to have a son, he would need help. That means he's not all powerful. So God is all powerful. So he 
he needs because it's in islam it's like not normal to have like for god to have a son so he needs to create a woman and then he and does his, intercourse his, right intercourse with the with his with the wife uh-huh and yeah. well you know adam adam yeah adam peace be upon him was made without a father or a mother so and god create and, and god create in a by in the quran it's it's um jesus created uh, uh the the messiah jesus son of mary was nothing but a word of allah be and he was so is adam is adam allah's son no 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 it's just all right no so we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not talking about it's just that. it's just a miraculous creation Right. Again, yeah. yeah, of course. So we're, we're not talking about creation. We're not just talking about miraculous creation. We're, I'm talk, we're talking about sonship, being a son. Allah would need a mate to have a son, right? Mm. He would need a mate. So he created them. He would need to create a, a female and have intercourse with her and then produce a son. So I have a question. So in in Christianity, if God mm -hmm. wanted to like make another son, did what do you need like a what do you need like a a wife or could he just go like be and like he that son was? We've like, done that. Matter of fact, we we are we are sons of God. A lot of us. Oh, right? we we believe that we're the sons of Adam and Eve. I know that, makes, that, yeah. has, that has nothing to do with being sons of God, though. Okay. Being sons of God, we as Christians, the Bible says that we are sons of God once we come into belief in the Messiah, in Jesus, mm -hmm. as our Lord and Savior. We then are now adopted as sons of God. So even God has more and more sons through faith and belief. He doesn't need yeah. sex to have sons. If Jesus is God, uh, we're in the Bible to state that he's God. We're in the Bible to state Sure. I already answered the question that, like, the thing, like, if God, he needs to, the, like, because it's unnormal for us in Islam for God to have a son, so he would, uh, he would need to make a, a, a wife, so you can yeah, make. But, but, but saying saying that he would need someone else's help means that he's not God, right? Yeah, but God. Does God need anyone's help to do anything? Uh, no, but yeah, so, no, so it, right. The answer is no. So since Allah needs help to do something, he's not God. You get it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In the if if Jesus is God, where in the Bible does it state that he's God? Where does he state? Okay. And you. I'm gonna and I'm gonna like refute inshallah. Okay. All right. Inshallah. Inshallah. Usually when you say inshallah, it never happens, you know, as Muslims. You gotta say well. I, I, inshallah, I will, I will refuse. Okay. So where in the Bible does it state that Jesus is God? Oh, I think I know where you're going with this. You're gonna pull up the before Abraham was born. I am. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Well, that's right. a good. One. That's a good one, though. I like. I like that you know that one. It's a good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. That's a good one. Here, I got, I got another one for you though. Are you gonna put on the screen or? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah. oh Bismillah, the originator of the heavens wait, wait, and wait, wait, the... Wait. That's the. That's the Quran. Here it is. You see? It? You see it? Uh, it's got the English standard version. Yeah. It's oh, that, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Waiting for our blessed hope and appearing of the glorious God and Jesus, Savior, and, and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say that Jesus is God. It's saying he's the Savior. No, it says he's the great God and Savior. The, waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. See? But if Jesus is God, wait, wait, does it? You see how the verse says that Jesus is God? Yeah. All right. So he's God in the Bible, right? Waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing. But the Bible is not a reliable piece of source. 
He didn't ask me that. He asked me to show you in the Bible where it says he's God. Waiting for a blessed hope. Wait, <laughs> what version is this? What version is this? It's right there. So he was standing. Where, you want another one? I'm going to stand version. You want another? You want another? Yeah, version? another version. Yeah, please. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go. Uh, let's go, King James. Wait, if Jesus is God, in the Where? Bible says, yeah. Wait one sec, yeah. yeah. So in the Bible, it says God does not die, and Jesus died. He died. He it's died according to his human nature. Yeah, but he still died. Yeah, as a human, his divine nature doesn't cease. So. Wait, what? So when you're talking about Jesus, who is mm -hmm. God, you're talking about one who took on a human nature while also keeping and remaining divine. He is still God while also adding unto himself a human nature. Okay. So he's able to experience death according to his human nature. Now, there's a difference between what God does and what God is. Now, what God is stays the same. God is all-powerful and all-knowing. So, not Allah, though, right? Allah's not all-powerful because he can't. He needs help. To have yeah, son. but he creates a woman and then does intercourse and then gets a baby. No, so, a son. So he, so he can't have a son by himself. He needs help. He's not all-powerful. I bet Uthman would struggle with this as well. No, nah, I don't. Uthman will, Uthman will fumble this too. Wait, you know the verse you gave me? Like, yeah. Is it is it is it like actual like surah? No, like the like oh. the God doesn't need a thing of jiggy. We'll come to, we'll come back to this later. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's an actual surah, man. It's called Al Anam, the cabin. Let me just. Here it is again. It's on the screen. Okay. The creator of the heavens and the earth. How can you? Okay, I'm just going Al Namel. Wait, Al Anam. Al Anam, yeah. Al Anam. Al Anam. It's an actual verse, man. Suma clay decrease on deity. What verse? What verse is it? 101. Ah, 101. Gotcha. El Anam 11101. The originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a child? How, how could he have children when he has no mates? He created all things. And has perfect knowledge of everything. Mm -hmm. So you're right. I know. I'm a shake, bro. Of course I'm right. He is the originator of the heavens and earth. How could he have children when he has no mates? No, like, why would God have children? Like, why would God have, like, children like why, why would he have sure the reason why is because god is love god is love Wait, so, so, okay. so um it's endearing and loving for god to not just have slaves and servants but to consider us as his children as well that's but god, oh, sorry. but god is not just one emotion god is al rahman the most merciful um yeah, 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 you asked you asked about but okay even with being merciful yeah. isn't it merciful to to give let's say an orphan who has no mother or father they're an mm -hmm. orphan to give this orphan fa uh, fatherhood the bible says that he is 
a father to the, even the orphans. He's a father to the fatherless. So the tr so the Trinity is the Trinity there because God is love and God wants to like. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, the tr the Trinity the Trinity is there. It's essential because God is love. So, like for example, here's another reason why Allah can't be God. Let's talk about this love thing. <clears throat> uh, God is the greatest imaginable being, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Now, whatever we can imagine, he is the greatest in that category. He's the highest, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let's let's break it down this way. If God is loving, if he's love, mm -hmm. you believe that you believe Allah has love. I believe that my God is love. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Is it a great which form of love is greater? Loving just yourself, right? Having your selfish love, you take good care of your own self, mm -hmm. which or also loving yourself, but also sharing that love with another uh sharing that love with another but like god like he like he is like he's like the greatest why, yeah why, but why does he need to love like why, why does he need like that's that's part of his nature it's, that's part of his nature it's not that he needs to love that's who he is it's what he is he is love so that's so that's why the trinity is there huh yeah. You see, you see how, you see how, so by very nature, God is love by very nature, by his core, his essence. God is, this is what the Bible says. It says, God is love. That's what the Bible says, right? So for God to be love, that means he is the greatest imaginable love. Mm -hmm. Like whatever we can think of love to be, he's great. He's the greatest. So by very nature, since we can imagine a love that's greater than selfish love, but like shared love, shared love is greater than selfish love, which requires two persons mm -hmm. at least, then that means that God, by his very core and essence, has to at least be two persons within himself. Mm -hmm. So you know the Trinity, why is it three? Why can't it be four? We're, we're breaking this down. Why not four? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about the forms of love, so we already got we got shared love. This is a category of love. We're going to call it shared love. When you share that love with another, you with me so far? Yeah. So wait. So you. So when you say the two, is it the Father and the Son? The yeah, Father, Son, and then you have also have the Holy Spirit. Wait, what is the Holy Spirit like? What is He's it? The is very it... Spirit of God. Spirit is it like? God. Is it like when God becomes a human and then he like? No. Oh. No, no. Like, it's the very spirit of God. It's the, he's the he's the he's the spirit of God. Um, he's you know the mind of God. He is, you know, he's he's God's wind and power. That's who he is and what he is. He guides the believers. He guides the prophets. That's who he is. So the I very spirit of God. But hold on, you ask, you asked you asking a lot of questions. You which one you want to answer to? So. Do you want to know why three and not four or five or six? So, um, no. Um, so uh, I'm alright. So basically, okay, okay. Yeah. So you're fine with that. But do you, do you do you understand why God, if He's God, He has to at least be He has to be multi-personal. You understand that, right? Yeah. So that that means that that would disqualify Allah, because Allah is only one person. He's 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 not by, you know, he's not multi-personal. So, so Allah would have to rely on something outside of himself to even love. The reason why is because God is so powerful. He doesn't, he doesn't need, he's the, in Surah Al-Ikhlas it says, he's the sustainer needed by all, meaning everyone needs him, but no one, but he doesn't need anyone. Okay, so who did Allah love before there was anyone? Who did he love? No one. Exactly. So he has he doesn't even have the power to love within himself. There's nothing no one to love. So he has to wait until he creates something so that he can love it so that he can demonstrate love. See, but my God, by his very core and essence, he is love. So he doesn't need creation to demonstrate that love or for that love to be evident because within God <coughs> himself, he is love. So he's not dependent on creation to love. Mm -hmm. Allah is dependent on creation again. 
We keep Wait. we keep showing different ways on how Allah needs help. Allah needs help when it comes to cre to having a son. Allah needs help when it comes to love. Okay, yeah. So, is the father and the son co-equal? Wait, don't don't bypass that. Pay attention to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't Okay, so no, pay attention to this. Hey, that's this what? is a problem as a Muslim. Wait, pay attention to what? To how your God needs help. He needs creation to love. Look, man, have you ever read the Bible before? Uh, no, I, I really like, uh, no, nah, but I, I, re I want to because like, because like I want to like see the perspective of Christians and like have debates with them and like this and that. Have debates with them. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, you want to read it for debates. All right, no worries. You can read it for debates. I'll tell you where to start. Get a Bible or mm -hmm. use your computer or whatever. Open mm -hmm. up Matthew, the book of Matthew. Start there and just mm -hmm. read it. Okay. Okay. All right. Come back next time. Can I just ask one more question? No more. No more. You already oh. you, you got a lot to, to sit on. I don't want to overload you. Oh. All right. I, we're, we literally went through the Dawa script. Nothing, nothing works on that script. You know that, right? Oh. Nothing works. All right. But have a good night, bro. You too, inshallah. All right. May Peace. Allah bless you, Habibi. <laughs> May the Lord Jesus bless you, Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> if if Jesus if Jesus is God and God knows everything, then why did Jesus not love the hour? <laughs> oh yeah, Hello? so yeah. if the if the <laughs>